All right, we just looked at expanding with logarithms. Now I want you to see if you can condense and go back to a single logarithmic expression. So write as a single write as a single logarithm. For example, if I were to say 8 times log with a base 2 of x. How do you write that back as a, just one logarithm without the 8 and stuff out in front? Log with the base 2 of x to the 8. Just put it back where it came from, right? Put that thing back where it came from. Or so help me. Yeah, I'm that guy. 3 times log base b of x plus 11 times log base b of y. What do you think that means? It's uh, log b x3. Log with base b of x to the third plus what? log with base b, y to the 11th. But since I have addition of logs and they have the same base, how can I condense that? X, it's log b, x to the third times b, or uh, y to the 11th. x to the third times. I don't need to write the times there, but I want to emphasize that for you. y to the 11th. What do you guys think? perfect. It's amazing. Let's do one more. 5 log of A minus 6 log of B plus 2 log C. Write this as one log. Can you go straight to the answer? Okay. What's inside the log? Any of these guys that have a positive number up front here and here, where are those guys going to go? They're going to go in the numerator, so what are they in the numerator? A to the fifth and C squared. What's in the denominator? B, B, six. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. So if right. we were to go from the answer to the, the example, does it have yep. to go in order from A, B, C? No, no, no. If you went from here, back up here, you would probably have this plus that and then minus that. But it's addition and subtraction, so you can mess around with the order there. And then one or two last little things. We talked about how these guys are inverses, logs and exponentials, right? So here's some properties that I think will help you out since we're talking about inverses. A to the log with base A of x is x as well as log with the base a of a to the x is equal to x. These are theorems based on the inverse. You may go, this looks so crazy. Check this out. If I have 3 raised to the log base 3 of 17, the bases are the same, right? So log cancels out the exponent. The exponent cancels out the log, so what's my answer? 17. What? Exponential and logs are inverses of each other, right? Mm -hmm. So if I have a log in an exponent and their bases are the same, I'm going to be left with whatever's inside here. 
And maybe easier to see if I write it this way, Katie. If I were to do an example where I have log with a base 5 of 5 to the 97th power. You don't need to worry about what 5 to the 97th power is. Your thought process, if you had to solve this guy, like what does it equal? Your thought process would be this. Okay, 5 to what power equals 5 to the 97th? 5 to the 97th. So it's just going to be 97th, right? The bases are going to, if the bases are the same, that stuff's gone and you're left with just the, the 97 here. I know it's crazy, but it's true.